Hey guys, Tony Lockhart here, and I'm gonna finish off some pots. At a recent firing that went really well, so I have a bunch of these stemless goblets. However, the bases need to be ground down because they're a little bit too textured and bumpy. There are a couple more. It's a different clay body. Um, but at any rate, they're a little bumpy, kind of textured, and when you put them on top of your table, I don't want them to end up getting, you know, scratched. Or I don't want the table to get scratched. So what I'll do is, I'm gonna use a lapping stone. This is a diamond bit. And I've got a Giffen grip, which I use to uh, just hold it down. I've got a cup of water here as well because this works really well. So here's the textured side. I think this is like maybe a 200 grit. It's pretty bumpy, not that smooth. So start by locking down the lapping stone. Get some water onto it, turn on the wheel, and we'll get down to business. So here we go. It's our first textured pot. Okay, so here's the first one. You can see kind of has ground down the surface. It actually feels smooth like glass. And this material actually is glass or is a glass-like surface because there's a lot of silica that's inside the clay body. Um, yeah, there it is. So I'll do a couple more before I stop the video. I like to give the pot one more dip in the water before I set it aside to dry or to to let it dry off. I'll eventually throw those in the dishwasher once I go in the house. I'm not sure if we can capture that, but this is really bumpy. There's a lot of dark speckles on it. it. Looks pretty bright on the screen, but at any rate. And a lot of those dark speckles that are gone now really have been ground down nicely and it's pretty smooth. You can see it's really bumpy on the outside and you see the little speckles of sand that are still in the clay body. All right guys, so one more video clip. You can take a look, I just finished grinding down this surface and you can tell how reflective it is with the water that's left on it. There is a little bit of a high point that won't touch the table and you could see how bumpy and rocky that was when you do the comparison. There's still little pieces and little drag lines that you can see in the smoothed out part of the clay body. However, um, to the touch it feels perfect. I think this would be just fine on top of a tabletop. So I'll end by saying it's, it's 
really easy for these things to get knocked off of the wheel. So you gotta get a nice good grip on it and definitely put a lot of downward pressure as well. Um, if the, the wheel is spinning counterclockwise, I like to actually go in a clockwise direction as I move around. And I don't like to leave it in one place because sometimes it'll leave drag marks in one direction. I've found that if I spin it around the wheel in the opposite direction that it's facing or that it's spinning, then it leaves a nice smooth surface and you can't really tell where it's being polished. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.